طلعنا نعصر زيتون وعصرنا الزيتون وروحنا أول مرة وإحنا طلعنا نلعب بالحارة طخطخة بعدين أنجت الطيارة رمت برميل تفجر أجت شضية عيدي أجت أمي مسكت إيدي من هون عشان ما ينزج دم وأخذتني م... يعني طلعتني بالدور على سيارة طلعنا نعص بعدين حسيت إنه صار في إشي ينزل عجري لديت عيدي كانت مقطوعة يعني انقطعت كاملة بس ظل خيط واحد معلق بيدي قلت لحال يعني شو بدي يصير بيا هسه و... يعني قلت خلاص انا متت ها I'm Pierre Mo, uh, I'm the clinical coordinator of the 3D project for uh, Doctor Without Borders here in Jordan. The hospital where we are working is a reconstructive surgery hospital and that are patients from Syria, from Iraq and, and from uh, Yemen. Those patients are all who are wounded, they are uh, uh, civilians for most of them and a uh, few of them have amputations. Conventional prosthetics. It takes time, it's costly and uh, it needs a lot of skilled people. So it would be uh, much cheaper to use the printer because the, the raw material won't cost more than $30. This one is the Most of our patients that we see are well-rounded patients. So they don't have any access to uh, prosthetic care. The idea for us is to try to uh, find out what kind of tools we can print with the technology. So you have four different objects that make the prosthetic. First, the socket, which is uh, basically the interface between the stump and the prosthetic. We are printing a, a flexible plastic and TPU um, to, uh, to match the anatomy of your patient. And then we are uh, printing the forearm unit, which is in a hard plastic. And the hand uh, is in a flexible plastic to a polyurethane that can allow some, some movements, uh, have some flexibility on the fingers, actually. So we try to work as much as possible with the patient to understand their needs. So today, Ahmed, we are going to try your new socket. This is the one that we printed on the computer. As you can see, when we print it, it's layer by layer. So this is why you have like kind of uh, lines. So we might use one, two or three prototypes of socket and prosthetic. And then when we uh, finally get something which is uh, good enough, we post-process it, paint it, and then deliver it to the patient. So Ahmed, can you tell us uh, how you feel about uh, what we are doing and all the process? And... After we post-process this one, we'll try to find uh, out a way to, uh, to print other parts. The goal is for us to try to make a prototype of a full prosthetic. So we have the chance to continue the project at least for next year with the vision to maybe spread the technology and spread the project to other uh, humanitarian settings. أنا حاب أدرس وبس أكبر يعني حاب إني أصير مهندس وعمر دار يعني بس روعة بلادنا عمر دار يعني أعيش حياة صح منيح حلوة آه هذا هو